Hello everyone, we've got some wild stuff to talk about today. So this is going to be part of the roasting series, but there's also just a big observation. If you want to skip to the deck roast, I'll have that on the screen now. But let's actually just give the history and a little bit of uh, information for those who maybe don't know this person. Basically, the secret village of the Spellcasters group chat on Facebook is just where there's a bunch of DM players um, like Michael, like Godsmith of Chaos, and just some other content creators as well. And we just talk about DM in here, right? Uh, someone posted this link. They were obviously going through Twitter, and they posted this YGO Pro deck list, which clearly looks like Dark Magician. And they just said, really? Like, because this list apparently came first at a regional, and that's very surprising, and the list isn't very good as well. Um, I'm going to blur out my comment, my response here, because it will spoil the video. Let's just say... I smelt a rat. Let's have a reenactment of that person discovering this deck list. Here I am on Twitter, very zoomed in. And whoa, look at this list that came first. Wow. Um, this is crazy. Uploaded by the greatest duelist. And these ratios look a little sussy. Secrets at three, brain infusion at two. Like th the true name? Like what's going on here? This deck list is very strange. Soul Servant at two as well. But what stood out to me, the ratios I noticed, but two, I noticed the deck list. And three, I noticed how this person speaks because I'm very well equipped with how they speak. Now, YGO Pro did finally come out and say this is a troll user guy. He's been banned. Uh, this deck got picked up because it's a higher engagement deck. Of course, it's Dark Magician. People want to see it do well. This is at 900 likes. They should just delete the post, but of course, they're probably gaining traction from it, so they're not going to. Can you decipher who this is? Now, I know. I want you in the comments to drop right now who you think it is. And if you get it right, I don't know. I'll give you a smooch. No. <laughs> Guess who it is, because I just said to the boys in the chat, isn't this such and such? And I was right. And they're like, how did you know? And I'm like... I'm just good. Hey you, yeah you, you've been wondering where I get my singles from. Well, it brings me great joy to say I get my singles from Grim Dark Gaming. Whether you play Yu-Gi-Oh, Digimon, Dragon Ball, Flesh and Blood, Magic the Gathering, MetaZoo, or whatever it is you're after, make sure with your purchase to use code LOZA2 and apply that to get 5% off your order. And of course, that 5% goes to helping me out to make this channel so awesome for you. So make sure you check out Grimdark Gaming down in the description of this video and use the promo code LOZA2. But anyway, let's uh, prove how I knew who it was. So one, the name, The Greatest Duelist, that was a giveaway because I've seen that name before when seeing someone's list. I also noticed these ratios and went, hmm, someone's been talking about branded DM a lot recently saying it's the best version of the build. And this is also a terrible version of the build. Two Salvation, one Eternal Soul. So there were some giveaways, some red flags there. But I mean, let's go to the piece that gives us the evidence. Let's go to the actual YGO Pro deck list, shall we? Because this is where it all falls apart. Meta decks, Dark Magician, Branded, Dogmatico. All right. If you look at this description, this screams someone. I'm not going to say their name, but just the way they word things. I, I'm so used to it by now. But anyway, we scroll down a bit and like the extra deck not having access code is also a hate crime. We get to the comments and I mean, that's the biggest giveaway. The greatest duelist says... Also follow my DeviantArt. One thing they always do is they always comment on their own profile with comments. Like, who does that? It's weird. But they always do it and they upvote themselves. See the plus one, plus one, plus one? So there's all these giveaways. But I mean, the biggest giveaway, follow my DeviantArt, Joby Jack. Who could it possibly be, guys? All these people watching him, please stop. Please don't do that. So anyway, long story short, it's Joby Jacobs. Who's surprised? If anyone doesn't know who Joby Jacobs is, there's someone who's commented on my channel for so long, and any DM profile, you'll see him commenting, and it's just him trying to be rude to that person, saying their deck's wrong, or they're playing the deck wrong. When in fact, you can see from just this build here, he has no idea how to build the deck. I've roasted previous profiles of his in the past where he's had like 2DMG and just other weird stuff that's just unnecessary. This person is one, delusional, two, just on another planet, which is kind of the same thing, but three, they just won't stop, okay? They're, they're just adamant in their ways. And look, I don't know if there's anything going on there. I'm not sure, so I don't want to be mean, but just avoid interaction with this person. If you're a content creator, avoid replying to their comments. And if you're just an ongoing observer, you might have fun messaging back and forth with them. I see people do it all the time, but ultimately you're wasting your time. Um, and this video is kind of just, I, this is my second video on them. And it's just another 
take saying, please, we gotta, we gotta stop giving them attention. I know I do it too, like with this video, but I don't know, people like this, I've seen his Facebook account and he just posts screenshots of like celebrities or like, you know, popular e-celebrities who he's baited a response from. He's like said something to them in a DM that's offensive just to get them to respond. So he just seems to want to be a troll. Like he's just literally a troll by nature uh, in terms of real life and uh, whatever else, which is kind of sad, but it is what it is. But uh, let's get on to the deck roasting portion. All right, let's finally dive into the actual roasting of this dumb deck. Starting with 2DM, that's the best thing I have to say about this deck. Moving on, 1 to Myas. You know what, you can't fault someone on 1 to Myas or 1 Albion, so that's fine. Double Apprentice, yeah, whatever. 1 DMG, sure, whatever. Double Albaz, when you're playing Branded Fusion, look, I get it, sometimes you gotta play Double Albaz. But guess what? Why is there 2 Branded Fusion? This is the best card in the deck and it's at 2. We'll get into more of those ratios soon. Rod is at 3. Sure. Souls is at 3. Sure. Magician of Chaos in a fusion build is at two. Interesting. Trash. Illusion of Chaos is at three. I mean, the card's good. Sure. You could play prep instead of one of them, but whatever. Double Allure. Look in this build. You may as well play Allure. Branded Fusion at two. Now, this is the crucial card of the deck that makes this a branded DM deck, and it's playing Branded Fusion at two. This is like playing Shadol Fusion at two in Shadol's. With Secrets of Dark Magic at 3, this is like playing 3 El Shadol Fusion and 2 Shadol Fusion. Like, this makes no sense to me. These ratios are trash. 1 Magicalized Fusion, I can't fault 1 Magicalized. It's a, it's a gimmicky thing, but you know what? Sometimes it pops off. Double True Name, this is where the deck profile truly gets degenerate. Double True Name. This card is so bad. And Joby can't even realize that you could just play Archfiend's Oath. Shoutouts to the Archfiend's Oath enjoyers. This card is literally a better version of True Name, plus it's a continuous spell. So you can also send it with Magician Souls to get draws. It's literally better True Name. Oh, this one hurts, folks. Triple Secrets. Ugh. Double Soul Servant. Whoa! This is the best card in DM. This is the best spell in DM. Yes, it does nothing on its own, but welcome to the archetype. <laughs> this spell has the highest ceiling of every Dark Magician spell. It has one of the lowest floors as well, because obviously if you just drew this and had nothing else, this card is useless. But its ceiling is so high, the potential in this card is so high, and future support could make this card go from, you know, the A tier that it is to an S tier card, right? Because it can potentially be a draw four. For those of you who don't know, this card draws for DM, DMG, Mana, and Mahad. So if they're all in your grave or field, you get to draw four by banishing this from your grave. So Soul Servant can be the best card in the deck. It can also be the worst card in the deck because if none of them are in the grave or field, this card just stacks your deck. That's it. So the best use of this card when you don't have anything in the grave or field is just Circle and Chain Soul Servant because this lets you pick a card for Circle to add to hand. You're still going Neg 1, but in theory... You should have a way to Magician Souls, hopefully, and then you'll be able to redraw with the Soul Servant, draw back up for that card you missed. It's still bad, but yeah, that's kind of the idea behind Circle and Soul Servant. Speaking of Circle, it's a three. And you know what? I've been playing it at three in that OCG list that came third, and it's very fun, but it's bad. There's no world where you'd play three Circle and two Soul Servant. It would be three Soul Servant and two Circle, because if you're missing one and you get Rod, you just go get the other. Like, it, it just makes sense. And this is not the one you max on, in my opinion. Maybe I'll try more builds with Circle 3, but it's still pretty bad, right? This card is a hard once per turn. It doesn't do enough by itself. It's no Branded Fusion. Like, the fact that you got Circle and Secrets of 3 and not Branded Fusion, the card that's cracked, like, hello? Are you high permanently? What's going on here? Piercing a 1. This card sucks. I, I don't know how many times I've got to say it. It's an anime bait card, just like True Name and I have Tomias. Like... It's just baiting anime players, which we all know Joby is. We've seen builds of his where he plays 2 DMG. We've seen builds of his where he says, like, Eternal Soul is bad, and he just plays Unga Bunga, Going Zack and stuff. Like, we've seen it all. Here we go. Another ratio that was a big red flag. 2 Salvation with 1 Eternal Soul. Like, what? <laughs> this makes no sense. For those who don't know, Salvation is just not a good field spell. All it does is set Eternal Soul. Yes, it has an effect that can summon DM when you summon DMG, and it can summon DMG when you summon DM. That barely is relevant, and it doesn't come up enough to be relevant, and they're just vanillas at the end of the day. So unless you're linking with them, it's not that useful. And boy, do we have links to talk about soon. So basically, Salvation's only ever needed as a one-off in a DM build. Here it is at two with one Eternal Soul, and the one combination. Now, this card should be better than it is. But it's not, and playing it is kind of silly unless you play a build that's orientated around setting it up turn one. And let me tell you, this build accomplishes absolutely nothing turn one. 
let's go into the extra deck. We've got Guardian Chimera, which is actually a very good tech for DM. I, I support it. Dragon Knight, because haha, summon it off. Branded Fusion. Yeah, good luck. Master of Chaos, sure. Dragoon, so it's a TCG list, makes sense. One Dark Magician, two Dark Magicians, which is the worst DM fusion. I'm just going to put that out there. It's out of all of these, it's the worst one. So yeah, I, I don't know. Two of the worst fusion and one of the best fusion is very ironic to me. Albalenius is a very good card. However, I don't really think it's necessary. Albion, very good card. Two Lubellion and no Mirror Jade. That really shows that this player does not know how good Mirror Jade is. Or they're like, I only use Brain of Fusion to summon Dragonite. And sometimes, what's the point in that? Sometimes you're going to open Brain of Fusion with, with none of the Circle Eternal Sword to Protect. So like, why make Dragonite then? Obviously make Dragoon. Obviously make... Sometimes you can't even make Dragoon, so you just make Mirror Jade Pass. Especially because you can play Anaconda and Master Duel at least, but you can't in TCG. Anyway, we're getting off topic. To the Lynx, it's funny that there's Dark, Selene, and no Axis Code. It's like, what? Man, man just doesn't know how generic staples work. <laughs> like, it's so funny. It's like Dark, Selene, Axis Code is like just a very standard, well-known, established combo thing to just Link Climb and pop the field. And that bit is just missing. So what, you just go to Selene and just end it there. Just bring back your damn pass. But this is here instead. How good is that? We got Daybreak of the Shining Magical Warrior. Now, anyone who's read this card knows it's garbage. Let's read it for everyone in the chat. It gets a spell counter, just like the regular Breaker. It gets a spell counter when it's summoned, and that counter gives 300 attack, and it's 1600 attack, so it goes to 1900 attack. So far, it all sounds good. Here's where it falls off. If a spell cast is special to a zone this points to, put a spell counter on it. Mind you, you've already summoned two monsters at this point in DM, and that's pretty much it for the turn in DM, right? We don't typically get too much further than that. Especially if you're playing Brandon Fusion, you cannot use this card. So don't think like, oh, but you can summon two and then Brandon Fusion. No, you cannot. <laughs> if we could do that, great, but we cannot. Maybe when we get a DM Fusion spell, we could go, Rod Souls, go into this, and then do that. That would be cool, but it's not how it works. Next, you can remove two spell counters from this card, target a card on the field, destroy it. Not a quick effect, by the way. So not good going first, only good going second, and even then, very lackluster. So very much Breaker, the OG Breaker, for those who know it, but very nerfed. And it's a Link too. Like, why did they nerf it this much? Why isn't this effect a quick effect? If this effect was quick effect, it would see play. At least in DM. We could Link 2 into this, Eternal Soul Summon DM, get the extra counter, boom, do a freaking remove to destroy. So yeah, this card sucks, and don't play it, basically. <laughs> Artemis is here, which is good. We love to see Artemis and Anima, Anima is here too, which is great. It's weird that there's no Link, Spider, or I'm Duck just to facilitate um, linking away DM so you can Eternal Soul it back and Trigger Circle. Like, that's, once again, very strange to me. All in all, this deck profile sucks, but I don't think I was harsh enough. What do you guys think? I feel like the like this deck just displays clownery. This, this is just the Muppet list, right? When I saw this list, I just went, this is a Joby list, and I checked the name... And I went, that's a Joby name. And then I checked uh, the YGO Pro deck. And there it is. Joby in the comments saying, follow my deviant art. In which, yeah, he's got his name. So good job to another alias. He's been banned of YGO Pro for so many times for doing this exact thing. And here he is doing it again. So big ups to YGO Pro who refused to delete their tweet about the deck. It's gained traction because it's DM. It's got like 800 likes. They're not deleting it for whatever reason, and they just replied, which has 70 likes, and or 80 likes or something, and they've just said, oh yeah, sorry guys, this guy's a known like troll, yeah. Sorry, uh, it's not an actual first place. At this, as Imagine this list got first place at a freaking regional. It, it's not even maximizing on the best cards. Like, I will, for, I will die on this train. Secrets is a shit card. There's no world in which we play three secrets. Maybe down the line if something crazy happens, but hell no. What archetype has a quick play fusion spell that they play at three unless it's sending material from deck, right? One that just fuses from hand and field, it's poly. It's it's poly with quick play. It's slightly better poly, but we're forced to use DM or DMG. So it's restrictive, slightly better poly in a blanket. <laughs> it's a shit card. And I'm saying this as someone who loves DM. I can just acknowledge that the DM cards are very, very low in power. So don't take this as a personal attack. Some people seem to get offended when I say the DM cards suck. I'm not attacking you. I'm not attacking the deck. I'm not attacking Dark Magician. I love these cards, but I'm able to acknowledge they're bad. Piercing the Darkness, not being a DM card, pretty bad. Could have been a nice one-of in the build, but it can't be. 
Could have been one of those wacky one-off circle goes to try fine, but it can't be because it's not a DM card. I have Tomais, would have been a lot better had it been a DM card, but obviously they've said, oh no, you can't search this. It doesn't actually say Dark Magician. Ha ha ha, it says Dark Magician Monster. That's different. Ha <laughs> ha, bye. Now, if I had my lawyer involved, I'm pretty sure they could make an argument that this is searchable, but he's busy at work right now, so I won't bother him. Anyway, what do you guys think of the list? Let me know down in the comments, and we probably need to start ignoring this clown in the community, because he just keeps trying to trigger people and gain traction that way, so. Well, here's another video highlighting the tomfoolery of a clown of Dark Magician. See ya.